open up uh, far left, Lori from 610 WTVN. Just wanted to follow up on this again. Um, you talked about getting acclimated to the physicality of the college game. Is that process going where you wanted it to? And are you still feeling really good? Uh, yeah, my, my body feels great. Uh, I didn't really feel any pain uh, Sunday, so uh, I think I think my body's definitely adjusted to kind of the hits and stuff like that. But as I continue to take more hits, uh, just just kind of my body getting used to that. That'll be a new adjustment. Justin, um, Austin on Saturday called you a pass first quarterback. Is that a description you would like? to embrace? Is that something that you consider a compliment from one of your wide receivers? Um, yeah, so the receivers know uh, scrambling around with me. Uh, they, they know that I want to throw the ball first. And there were probably some times on Saturday where I could have just pulled the ball down and got 10 yards. But I kind of keep my eyes on for when I scramble around just to see uh, if, if, any, if, if anyone's open. So uh, just, just you know, getting on the same page as those guys when, when scrambling around, that's, that's a big thing that we've been working on. Uh, front row middle, uh, Dave from 247 Sports. Justin, I have a non-football question. You've been here about nine months so far. What are your impressions of Columbus? Um, I haven't really been around much. Uh, I usually just go back and just, just watch that or something like that. But um, Columbus is a great city of, of, of what I've seen. And uh, there's there's a lot to do here. Um, and, and yeah, so that's, that's all I can really tell you about. Yeah, even on campus, um, just what's the biggest difference from being in Georgia? What has surprised you, if anything? Um, so uh, I really don't have any like on classes, like in, in class classes. Uh, most of my classes are online, just just because of uh, I guess time, and uh, I can probably spend more time on football and just just studying a lot like that. So uh, I've I've really been around campus that much, but what I what I have seen is just uh, it's just uh, the the campus is beautiful and um, uh, the people around it are great. So second row left, Ari from the Athletic. Justin, we talked to you and uh, Coach Day in the past about just your ability to freelance and, and get out of space and turn plays that might not be going somewhere into something. What's it like to be at a place right now where you have a coach that's going to encourage that, even if it's scary sometimes, just to allow you to just be yourself and play play the game you want to play? Um, I mean, it's definitely great to have that. He, he encouraged me uh, on what I like to do and kind of what I'm good at. So uh, just, just not having him kind of on my back and just uh, making me somebody that I'm not, uh, it's just great to have him. Now, now he tells me to be smart with the ball, and, and that's the, that's to try to that's what I try to do best. But um, just, just having a coach like that, that, I think that will definitely enhance my game. Justin, are you a better football player because you feel like you can go be yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think any any football player will be a, a better football player when he can plays when he can play like himself and uh, just just not uh, worried about uh, doing the wrong things and not doing what's natural not doing what's natural to him. So uh, just just doing kind of what's natural to me, I think. That definitely makes me more comfortable and uh, a better football player. Front row right, Austin from Letterman Rome. Justin, when you talk about the pass first mentality, do you envision as the season goes on that you will run more if the games get tougher? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, it's just really uh, all part of the game plan. So if Coach Day has me run more, then I'll run more. But uh, it's just really whatever the team needs me to win. Have there been, I mean, you guys were always going to have the talent edge in the first four weeks to get tougher this week. I'm just wondering if there were conversations about, hey, let's not run it as much on a scramble or I'm not going to call plays for you to run as much because we want to get you in the middle of the season. Nah, I, it really wasn't conversations like that. It was just when you do run, just make sure you uh, stay safe and just make smart decisions, slide, get down, don't take too many hits. So those were kind of the conversations, not really just don't run and just do that stuff. So, yeah. Third row right, Rob, from uh, the dispatch. When you're in your team meetings, meeting room, watching film, assume that there are particular players on defense that, that you're warned about. Maybe they're the, the best player on the defense. A, does that happen? I'm guessing. And B, how often are you thinking about that in the game in a particular play, keeping an eye on that guy because you know he can be a game changer? Um, I mean, you definitely have to know who you're going up, up against. So uh, just, just studying each position and uh, where they are, how they play. Is a, is a big part. So just just knowing who the who those players are on the opposite side of the ball, uh, I think really helps us as an offense and and just uh, makes us more efficient as the uh, game goes on. How aware are you of it and keeping an eye on that? I mean, you just have to be aware of them. I mean, you can't just have them in the back of your mind every play. Uh, eventually, you just have to go out there and play and just not worry about who's on the side of the ball. I mean, football is football at the end of the day. So um, just just really just kind of getting in that rhythm and just just playing playing. Well. <coughs> What it comes down to. 
far left. Ryan from ESPN.com. Uh, you've been here now since, what, January. Mm -hmm. How do you compare what, who you are now as a person and player versus August, versus June, even going back to when you first got here back in the winter? Um, I think I've matured a lot, uh, not only in the game of football, but in life. Uh, kind of, I've, I've went through some obstacles, so just, just going through those obstacles uh, has really just taught me uh, a lot of life lessons, and I'm definitely grateful uh, now that the position I am in, uh, just, just going through all of that, I think it's definitely made me a stronger person. Has life kind of been quieter in Columbus versus QB1 and all the Georgia stuff and all that? No, not really. I mean, it's been, it's been the same, but uh, as, as life goes on, you just you just learn to kind of block that stuff out and just, just live your life. So uh, uh, I'll definitely uh, continue to do that. Fourth row middle, Patrick from uh, 247 Sports. Justin, obviously you played in some games last year, but a game like this, prime time, two top Big Ten teams, is, is this what you envision college football being for you when, when you signed up to play? Um, I think going into big games like this, you can't make a game bigger than it is. I mean, if you do that, then you'll end up, I guess, not playing uh, to your full potential. So just, just kind of treating this like in, like any other game and just, just doing the same things we've been doing the past four weeks and just kind of executing on offense and doing all this bad stuff, just uh, preparing the same. I think the team is just going to just play our game. And I, I think if you do that, that that'll be enough <coughs> to I understand win the game. I understand all that, but obviously this will be your guys' biggest test, and I don't think anyone's shying away from that. Are you looking forward to seeing how you guys do against another team with, with like the like athletes? I mean, am I, am I looking forward to it? Yeah, uh, see how how you come out of the game like this. Uh, of, of course we are. I mean, uh, we've we played well. This team uh, has definitely prepared over the winter, summer, so uh, we're ready for the test, and um, I, I don't expect. Anything less from this team, the coaches, and everyone on the staff, really. So we expect to go out there and, and do business, and it's a just another business trip for us. So. Uh, second row middle, Bruce from Sports Illustrated, Maven. I'm a, I'm intrigued by your answer to Dave's questions about Columbus and about Kansas. Um, do you think people have any idea the level of commitment it takes on the part of you, your teammates, to be elite at what you do? Uh, I think people have some sort of idea, but they don't know all the little details we, we actually do, uh, whether it's coming in on an off day, uh, coming in, coming in, get extra work in. Um, I, I think they have kind of a, a slim idea, but, but they don't know everything that we do, so, um, yeah. But I think if you were to ask the average fan, they'd think that Justin Fields is sitting in class and he's interacting with classmates and he's walking across the oval and he's, he's a college student, but he's a football player too. Yeah. And the life you described is, is really not that life is that accurate? Uh, I think some some uh, some people have the idea of what we do. Like some, I talk to some people and they think uh, all day we're just working out all day and uh, just just kind of looking at film all day, just just doing football all day. Like we're just football players. Some people think we're regular students, so it's kind of a I guess a miss, miss and match thing. But um, just just kind of balancing those things out. And uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what people think, but people just have different opinions on what we do and. Uh, kind of how our everyday life goes. Uh, front row left, uh, Nathan from Cleveland.com. What do you enjoy about getting to challenge this number one defense in practice? What, are, what do I enjoy? What do you enjoy? What do you get out of that challenge? I mean, it, it just makes the offense <coughs> a better offense at the end of the day, just going up against those guys. And um, it definitely tests the receivers. Uh, and they know more of our concepts because we, we've run against them a lot. So just kind of putting the ball into tighter windows and doing all of that stuff, I think helps the offense, helps me uh, specifically, just, just fitting those balls into tighter windows and just working on the chemistry with the receivers and, and all that stuff. And our D-line is amazing. So it definitely helps our O-line, and I think it just helps everyone on the offense. The, the opposite is also true, though. I mean, are you conscious of that, that you, I need to be sharp, we need to be sharp, whatever, to make our defense better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we uh, compete a lot every day, so uh, just, just going against them. Uh, I, I don't think we, we take each other lightly. And uh, when we're on different sides of the ball, unlike the game, um, it's, it's kind of like we want to beat you like in practice. So I mean, just the competitive nature in practice and, and all that stuff uh, definitely helps the team get, get better as a whole. And final questions, front row right, Bill from the dispatch. Yeah, we'll follow up a little bit more on the kind of lifestyle question. I mean, 
Well, is there a part of you that wishes you could be kind of a normal student and do all that stuff, you know, walk across the oval, have more interaction with students, or are you fine with the way the way is? I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the way my life is right now. I mean, I, I, I wish nothing happened differently in my life, so uh, it's just kind of embracing all the stuff that I do right now. I think uh, you can't really hope to be somebody else or hope to have a different lifestyle that you have. You can only just have what you have right now and just make the best out of it. So I definitely uh, enjoy my life right now and uh, just, just hope to make the best out of it. And one question about Ken Victor. Um, you obviously had some talented guys in Georgia. Uh, how talented is he? Uh, Ben's an all-around player. He's been blocked. He's a great route runner. He uh, has great uh, moves after the catch, and um, he can jump high. He's a big body, and he has great hands. So uh, just just him, just having him as a receiver, a big threat down the field, um, red zone, and all. So he's a he's an all-around receiver, and a, a, I'm grateful for having him. Great. Justin, thank you, thank Justin. you so much.